morning, Admiral. I'm Zach. And I'm Lexi. And today is Thursday, October 24th, and it's now time for your morning announcements. Here's what's going on around JHS. Here's our principal, Mr. Jay Thomas, with a special announcement about CHAT. Good morning, Patriots. This is Mr. Thomas, your principal, and I wanted to speak with you about CHAT for a few minutes this morning. A brief history on CHAT. A few years ago, when we started CHAT, we had heard loud and clear from teachers and parents and students that they needed times during the day to be able to meet with clubs and also needed time to be able to make up homework, missing assignments, and just to get with teachers. So we've implemented the chat over the last couple of years and been very consistent with our schedule. Now, what I'm asking you to do is make sure you're respectful of that chat time. That chat time is for instructional time and for you to be able to make up missing assignments, missing work, and to be able to get with your teachers. That chat, when you're asked to come by a teacher, is not optional. If, if there's a conflict in your schedule and a teacher asks you to come to meet with them during chat, then please clearly communicate with that teacher and tell them why you can't make it and make sure that you schedule a different date and time. Please do not put yourself in a situation where they're right during a referral and that you're going to be disciplined for skipping chat. Chat is an instructional time. If you are up to date with all your work, with all your assignments, you don't need to see a teacher, a teacher doesn't need to see you, then that time is yours to be able to, to do whatever you need to do with it and to eat lunch. If, but however, if a teacher asks you to come during half of that chat, then you are required to go to that time. So I want to make sure you clearly understand that. That was communicated at the beginning of the year during our, our assemblies, and it's just a good chance now at the end of our first nine weeks to have a refresher on that. Also, we ask you two different things. One, clean up your trash when you're done. No one here is paid to walk around and pick up your french fries, your plates, your milk cartons throughout the school. And it's just disgusting that you would leave this stuff lying around. So take one second and pick up your stuff before you leave and put it in a trash can. We have plenty of trash cans throughout the building. And the other thing is the hallways and the stairwells. Safety reasons, you should not be sitting in the stairwells. We don't want anyone sitting in the stairwells throughout the day and during chat. That, that's a safety concern for us as people are going up and down. If you are in the hallways, that's fine, but make sure there's enough room that people can safely pass by as they're walking. So thank you. If you have any questions about chat, I'd love to hear your, your thoughts and comments. Uh, we have a, a school improvement council that meets once a month. We have a lot of good conversations about chat and many other things that are going on to the school, and you're always welcome to come to that as well. Thank you. It's reported that each day, 160,000 students do not go to school because they are bullied, teased, and harassed. By turning the story of a tragic death at Columbine High School into a mission for change, Rachel's challenge is helping create safer learning environments and making a worldwide impact. AHS with Stop One Save One and SCA are sponsoring Rachel's challenge. Sophomore and juniors attend an assembly this morning. Now, senior and freshmen will go to the assembly in about 30 minutes. After the assemblies, students and staff can gather in the media center to further dialogue and support from counselors and staff. Author Speed, a program sponsored by the AHS Lantern Literary and Art Magazine, will be holding its inaugural event today during chat in the choir room. Come meet former AHS student and young adult author Sarah Glenn Marsh. Ms. Marsh will discuss the writing process, securing an agent, and the trials and tribulations of becoming a published author. Author Speak is open to all AHS students and staff. Latinos Unidos is hosting and salsa dance lessons in the small gym during chat today. Grab your friends and come support this fun student event. The Eating Disorder Support Group will meet during the second half of Thursday chats starting today. They will meet in room 11. They will offer support, advice, and information for anyone dealing with an eating disorder or for anyone who knows someone struggling with an eating disorder. Permission forms to the PVCC Choose or Lose event for seniors unsure of their plans next year are due tomorrow in Ms. Jill Garnett's office. Forms are still available in the guidance office. Fall is a great time to write novels. Here's more information.
And in sports news, come on out and cheer on the girls' volleyball team tonight at 7 p.m. as they take on Monticello at home. It is the Breast Cancer Awareness Game, so wear your pink and dig pink, girls. Good luck. Stay tuned after the credits for a special announcement about the Lantern. That's it for morning announcements, Al Marl. Have a great day.